So this is the new voice thread. I'm going to just highlight some of the changes in the new interface. We are used to going to what's called a My Voice page when you log into VoiceThread. Um, and this is the new My Voice page. However, it's no longer called that. Um, you'll see in the upper left corner that it's called Home. And so uh, when you click Home, this is where you go. Um, the one thing that will make it feel more familiar is if you click on the little um, icon over here to the left, the dots and the lines, it'll expand this column here and allow you to sort your voice threads. So if I click on Own by Me, now it's just going to show me the ones that I've created. And then down below, I still have all my same groups. So all my content's still there. Um, and I'm going to show you quickly how to create one. I clicked on Create at the top. And this is what the interface looks like now. I'm going to click on Add Media. And it lets me choose how I want to add my media. I'm going to click my computer and upload my PDF. This is actually a keynote presentation that I've converted into a PDF. So this process looks very much like the old voice thread. I can click to add a title and description while I'm waiting. And now my slides have been uploaded. Just like before, we've got the same steps at the top, add media, comment, and share. They're just no longer numbered one, two, three. So the following steps are pretty similar. I do want to show you um, how different the commenting interface is, though. This is what it looks like. So we no longer have the button below that says comment. Instead, we have this panel. And all of the icons are the same in terms of um, how we have uh, how we may choose to comment. So if I want to create a uh, voice comment, I just click on the microphone icon. Now this is the one thing that drove me a little crazy. If you see down on, I'm going to show you this again. Um, that countdown, it's it's cool and everything, but when you look at it a lot of times, it kind of started to get me dizzy. So let me show you something. I'm going to do that again, and you're going to see over in the left corner an option that says Skip Countdown. It's now checked, and now my that countdown won't appear again, and I really like that option. The other thing I really like about the new voice thread, there's my icon. I'm going to do another comment here. This time I'll leave a text comment, and you'll see what that looks like. Check this out, folks. Yeah, I'm there twice now. So remember in the old voice thread, when you left more than one comment on a screen with the same identity, um, your avatar would not appear more than once. And now it's there. So that'll make leaving feedback for students a lot easier. And the other thing that's cool is you can just drag these and move them around. Um, so. That's, that's something that only the creator of the voice thread or those who have editing access to the voice thread can do. But before it was a little more difficult because you had to click shift and use the bar at the bottom. And now it's just a matter of clicking and dragging and dropping. So I really like that feature as well. And the other thing that's cool is there are some really nice keyboard controls for um, people who use VoiceThread a lot. So for right now, for example, I'm just going to click R on my keyboard, which stands for record voice comment, and watch what happens. It just automatically starts recording my voice. It just automatically starts recording my voice. So that's kind of a nice feature too. So that's a little bit of the inside of the new voice thread.